How to change the sale badge color in Shopify step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. So, if you're looking to change the sale badge color in your Shopify store, so if a product is displayed as if it were on sale, how can you change the color of that display? So, if I go on ahead and show you guys an example, I will go into this particular product and I'll go into the prices and I'll add a compare at price like this. And once I add a compare at price and go back into my Shopify store, you will see that your product is going to be displayed as if it was on sale. So if I open this product up right now, you guys will see it shows a sale banner. However, this is sometimes lost and you want to highlight this. So to highlight this, I want to be able to change the color of this text. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So to do that, what we're going to do is we are going to head on over to our Shopify dashboard. And in our Shopify dashboard, what we're going to do is click on online store on the left panel. Once you click on online store, what you're going to do next is go into your current website theme. And I recommend that you create a duplicated version just in case you have any issues with the code and any you know if you make any mistakes you always have the pre-existing version ready to go back to but after you've done that click on edit code over here and once you click on edit code you are going to close up all of these files and just click on assets and once you click on the assets folder you're going to click on base.css now, once you have opened up base.css, you're going to scroll to the bottom of base.css. And now you are going to open up the description box down below and open up this link. I will leave a link to this in the description. And you're going to copy this entire code. Make sure to copy it completely because if you end up copying the first section and you leave out the first dot or the last bracket, this will not make the code work and your code will not be functional to change the color of your text. So I'm going to copy this entire code and then we're going to go into the last line of base.css and then you can press copy or paste and just press command V or control V to paste in your new code. Make sure that you inserted this into a new line. If you are uncertain if you did or, you know, if you did insert this in a new line, just copy this code and enter it a couple of times. Just press enter a couple of times and this will give you a few different lines and then, then you can paste in your code. So you can see there are a few empty lines in between that can help you in differentiating if you used a new line or not. Once you've done that, simply click on save and you might say, hey, how does this change the color? Because I want to add my own color. Maybe I want it in red. Maybe I want to make my sale price yellow. Well, don't worry. If you see this over here right now, you will see that the badge color has converted to green. Now, if I want to convert this to maybe red or yellow, if I'm displaying 70% off or, you know, if I have a really big sale, I might want to display it in green or in yellow or red. So to do that, open up your code again. And in the code that you just inserted at the bottom of base.css, you have this option which says background and span badge price, badge bottom left. Now in this, you have the color of your sale badge and you can open up the Google color picker and choose the color you want. Let's say I want a bright red. So I will go into this bright red and it will give me the hex code. So you're going to copy this hex code as it is and then select the hex code from here and then paste it over here. Make sure to paste it on both of the hex code sections. Once you've done that, click on save and once you click on save, your sale badge will now be changed. So now you guys can see it is now displayed in a bright red instead. Now this isn't the only way that you can elevate your Shopify store. If you want to make your header transparent like this, you can head on over back into your code. And then once you're in your code, you're going to go into the top folder, which is called layout, and you're going to go into theme.liquid. Now, once you go into theme.liquid, you're going to scroll to the bottom of theme.liquid and you are going to go into this code over here. I will also leave this in the description box down below. And you can copy this code and make sure to enter it above the body section. So if you guys can see over here, I have already inserted this code, but 
I'll remove this. So this is what you're going to see at the end of theme.liquid and you will see slash body slash HTML as the last lines. So place your cursor behind slash body and just enter a couple of empty lines and then paste this code for a transparent header. So just go into this transparent header code and just copy this and then paste it into your code over here. And once you've done that, you can click on save and your header will be converted into a transparent header. Now, if you want to further elevate your Shopify store, you can convert the header instead of a image, you can convert it into a video. To do that, you have to go into your Shopify dashboard and click on content on the left. And once you click on content, click on files and upload the file that you want to use. So I'll change the video on my Shopify store to show you guys an example. Now for that, I will need a new video. So I will click on upload files over here. And let's say I want to insert this video. So I'll click on upload over here and upload my video. Now, once you have uploaded your video, what you're going to do is go back into your Shopify dashboard and you're going to click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store on the left, you are going to click on customize on your online store. And once you click on customize on your online store, you're going to copy this video section. And this is a pretty long code. Now there are two ways to do this. You can either do this directly with a liquid code that enables you to insert your videos. You guys will see I have a video background and I have used the long method where you're going to have to edit the liquid, the custom liquid of your Shopify store. Or if you want the shorter method, then you can just go on ahead. And if you want the shortcut method, which I will be using, you can go on ahead and go into this code over here. This is our simple code for a Shopify video. And I will copy this code, go into my online store, and at the bottom, I will click on add section. Once I do that, I will click on custom liquid. And in my custom liquid, once we have inserted that, I will click on the custom liquid and insert that liquid code. Now, once I've inserted that liquid code, I'll go into the content section of my Shopify store. And then from the right panel, you have to copy the link for this particular video that you want to insert. Whatever video it is, you're just going to copy the link for that and then go back into your Shopify store editor. Once you're in your Shopify store editor, you will see in your liquid code, you have this section that is called SRC is equal to, and then you have these apostrophes. So in your apostrophes, you're going to paste in your actual video link that you receive and you're going to paste it in in the type section as well and then in the bottom src section as well so we're just going to insert that over here like this and you guys can see now our video has been inserted and i can click on save on the top right and now we have a auto looping video now i can move this custom liquid to the top as well to change the appearance of my shopify store and have this looping video inserted in and if you want to remove the header lines you can go into your header and scroll down and you will see the sticky header option. So below that you have the option to show a separator line, uncheck that option and click on save. And now let's view our Shopify store with these elevated elements. So if I click on my online store now, you will see I have this auto looping video, there's no line and I can go back and in my product I have this red banner and I do have other videos on how to do some more customizations on your Shopify store. So if you want to customize further, make sure to check those videos out and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and if there are any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.